The Kansas City Chiefs are looking for cornerback targets to bring into this team to up the level of this defense. James Bradbury is one. Stephon Gilmore is another. What should they do and what gets done? Welcome back. This is RGR Football. I'm Ryan. This is me going rogue. RGR Football on everything Chiefs, NFL, draft, have a ton coming for you, and I'm really looking forward to it. I know it's the weekend, but there's some rumors going around, so we got to make sure that we cover that. Uh, you can get more rumors here in the Matrix. That is the athleticism metrics that you have to have if you want to get ready for this NFL draft. It's rogueapc.com. Use that code RGR22AM to get your discount. I'll explain everything in that that you need to understand who the best athlete is at every position, and that becomes important. Athleticism at the corner spot is certainly paramount. It's something that I think that they're searching for. And what we found out early in the weekend is that James Bradbury is, is in the mix. Uh, a couple of sources from The Athletic have confirmed that the Chiefs have reached out about him. They've also been proactive in reaching out for Stephon Gilmore. And I think what it comes down to is that you want to flesh out all your possibilities. Certainly, the edge search has not gone the way that they had hoped. So now you have to make sure that you're covering all your other bases. And so when you take a look at somebody like James Bradbury, who's got the length, who's got the size, somebody that who's played well, a lot of PBUs and ball skills were on display in the 2021 season. Now, when you take a look at the, the percentages, it really comes down to, to something that it's not the level of play. It's the big plays. It is the PBUs and the interceptions that you're looking for from him because he was on pace and outpaced anybody on the, the Chiefs roster last season at the cornerback spot in terms of PBUs. And so that's what it comes down to because when you take a look, he's not exactly a fit. And this could actually, should this, this trade happen, this could signal a change in just what they want to do with the defense because. The Chiefs have run a lot of man for the league. Last, uh, Legarius Need last season, 34.6% of his snaps were in man. Now, Legarius is more successful there. Bradbury is not. Bradbury is more successful in zone where he runs predominantly over 67% of his snaps in zone. And so it's a different system. And so you would generally say, hey, this isn't necessarily a fit, except for the fact that he's shown he can play some man. He's not as successful in it with the Giants as he has been before. And I think that they're buying on that upside. And they feel that because of his success in zone, it allows them to play a little bit more zone, take that percentage down, which I think is in trend with the league. And that may signal exactly what we think we might see with it in the Chiefs going to more zone. If that happens, I think that's something that we can expect. We'll talk about if and when it does go down because it's not the only thing they're looking into. And these two are going hand in hand. That's why I'm putting them together uh, today, early today, so that we get an idea of what the options are because Stephen Gilmore, Stefan is, is an older prospect, uh, older player, obviously. Again, he's here in a Pro Bowl jersey because he made the Pro Bowl, and that's the level. Both these guys were Pro Bowl players, and you want to get the success back into this roster now that doesn't mean that it necessarily will happen but it gives you a better shot and that's what the the chiefs front office is banking on to tell you the truth they want that success rate and i think that at the corner spot in particular they want experience i think they're more apt to go after one of these two players because of their experience rather than putting all on the draft they'll continue to draft low four corners, but I don't think they want to spend one of those top picks on it, even though they have a slew of them now because they want the experience. And so that's what comes in with Gilmore. I think it gives you an all around. He can do a little bit of everything. It's not the takeaway stuff so much as it is with Bradbury, but it's a very different feel, a calmer voice. And right now they're a little thin on veterans all the way around with, with Reed and Juan Thornhill being the two older guys in the rooms. And when you look at the secondary as a whole, I think that this would be, be a stabilizing factor as well, not just for the corner performance, but for the secondary as a whole. Uh, leadership can be found however it can be found. Now, as of tonight, it's pretty late tonight. Nothing has happened with either player. I'm going to put this out in the morning. We'll see what comes of it because I think actively trying to go out and get those players is what Brett Feach wants to do so that he can take that need down so that if he has a chance to draft a corner that is high on their board, he will. 
but he doesn't have to. Again, eliminating need, eliminating fat, have to is what the Chiefs have to do right now. So let me know, which do you guys want them to sign? Or, or acquire is what is what it is because Bradbury will be a trade. I want to know what you guys think. I'm okay either way. It's just, it's going to be a different focus for me depending on which way they go about how they're going to play in this coming season. So that's where we're at this morning. If you are new to this channel, make sure you like this video. That helps us get it out. Make sure you sub to the channel and make sure you click that bell so you get notified when the next thing happens. The next thing on the schedule tonight is the mock drive, uh, mock draft, not live, uh, at 6 Central. Uh, I have a family event. Some sporting for my kids uh, that I'm not going to be able to be live on it. It will be pre-recorded, but it will hit at the same time at 6 Central tonight. If something breaks in the meantime, I will have something remote from where I am here on the channel about that news. So hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for hanging in with us. I know it's a bit down the road and maybe they'll get something done with these cornerbacks. Have a good one and I'll talk to you tonight.